And we're live. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us for another writing sprint. I know we don't usually do them in the afternoon, so I'm glad we have some people here. Uh, I have some special guests here to work with us today. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Either or. Um, <laughs> I'm Charlie from Book and Trader. And all of their links are down below too in the description if you guys want to go follow them. Um, I'm Brooke. My channel is Brooke Writes. I do writing content and some reading content kind of goes hand in hand. So <laughs> cool. Um, I know we were just talking about it, but uh, do you want to share what you're going to be working on today? And I'd love to hear what you guys are doing in the comments too. If I could, okay. Um, <laughs> this is my mascot, if you couldn't tell. Um, but I'm just going to be writing a, some general positive and negative thoughts that I have for the class I'm taking at college. So, um, I'm going to be working on a contemporary romance that I've been kind of, it's been in the works for a few weeks. So I didn't actually do nano. So I started this in like the middle of November. So it's, it's pretty fresh. <laughs> How much do you have so far? Um, I got about like 10 K. Okay, cool. Yeah. You have the whole first part done. Yeah, yeah. I'm like getting into act two, so. That's fun. Um, I'm working on my romantic suspense. It's like kind of revision at this point. And then I'm also adding so much to it because it was such a short draft that it still feels like drafting. So. Our outline is done. Prep Sember. That's funny. I've never heard that. It's almost <laughs> late. I also need to keep reading. Congrats on finishing your outline. Finally here from the beginning. Hope you're doing well and everyone else. I'm working on finishing up chapter four of my Dark Fantasy. Glad you could catch our live today. Dark Fantasy is my jam. Hope it's going well. Currently outlining my second whodunit. I swear I never thought I could successfully outline. I'm also a discovery writer. What about you guys? Yeah, I'm like, I, I like to think I'm a plotter, but I only plot so far and then I get to the point where I'm done plotting and I'm like, okay, I don't really know what happens next. So I'm kind of that way too. I'll have like a couple of major beats, but then I'll like outline yeah. a few chapters and then I write them and then I'll yeah. outline a few and then I'll write them. I can't do the whole thing in one go. No, me neither. What about you, Charlie? I, 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 I do it depending on my mood and then I just stop. <laughs> yeah. I think every project is different too. Some things that work for some books don't work for others. They descript having <laughs> Oh, I'm the opposite. I hate writing description. Hate it. Always have to go back and add it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't really like reading super descriptive books either. So I think that's just kind of. Me neither. I always kind of just like skim over it. <laughs> over it. Yeah. yeah. Like, Does anyone enjoy this part? So if I'm writing it, I feel like it's boring and I feel like no one's going to want to read that. But maybe yeah. I do like reading that. Decided to write like Agatha Christie. She's my spirit animal when it comes to writing, as she outlined. Hey, Nina. Welcome, everybody. Doing my own private demo. <laughs> <laughs> lots of new terms today hello welcome yeah check their description if you guys want to go follow them hey nelly we working on my white contemporary we got a lot of contemporary today gotta work on college finals good luck <laughs> i don't miss that we don't miss that at all yeah. <laughs> consider yeah i had to do that pretty much this whole week or it's, the, or it's the, the final, because I'm as any English major can relate to. I had I had to do like my final exam just this past week, and I'm just like, okay, I'm done. Thank God. Yeah, that's nice though. You get like a long break after that between semesters. Yeah. Nice. I do miss that. I miss the breaks where I didn't do like anything. Nice. Continuing to write a new adult romance. Ooh. Going to have to watch the replay at work. 
finally implementing copyrights to my book once after getting it back. <laughs> Nelly, is this the book that we worked on together? Nelly's one of my clients. Uh, doing math. I'm trying to be a discovery writer, but it works better for me to have some sort of plan outline. I wish I was more of an outliner. I feel like my life would be easier. Hey, Amy. Oh, Your cat is so funny. Mine are not that like touchy feely. Like they do not want to sit on me. <laughs> oh, he'll oh he'll get on me and just like don't he and he doesn't care if you move him, but it's just like okay, when, once He's, he situates, <laughs> don't move him. <laughs> you are giving me attention now. It's been decided. Starting a new project today. I finished my NaNoWriMo project and I'm surprised that I'm ready to work on something new already. I was about to say, that's impressive that you can jump straight out of one into the next. Editing a video too. Also, let me know in the chat if you guys have a preference for how long you want to do the sprints. Do you guys have a preferred length? Probably like five to 10. Okay, so you're short sprints. Yeah. Oh yeah, I usually do like 25. <laughs> yeah. I usually do anywhere from like 15 to 25. So we'll keep it on the shorter end today though. Okay. Maybe throw in some long ones in between, break it up. Okay, watch later. I have a problem with getting the copies when I get them back and trying to get them. I, I'm the opposite. When I get them back, I'm like so excited. I want to do it like right that second. Everyone editing video. I just got done editing before this. How much act up was that? 11,000 words. I'm an outliner, but up to a point, if I outline too much, I get bored of the story. I feel that way too. All right, let me pull up a timer. I think that's the end of the comments, unless they're just like not loading. Um, so how long do I just want to go for the first one? I'm good that's with whatever. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I usually do a relatively short one to begin with, just like to warm up. So um, I guess we could do like a 10 minute one just for the first one. Sounds good. Cool. All right, uh, we'll just get started then. 10 minutes, good luck with whatever you're working on and we'll talk to you then.
a warning about the timer ahead of time, but hopefully it didn't startle anyone too much. I was uh, confused. <laughs> yeah, it's an attention grabber for sure. How did the first sprint go for you guys? I'm gonna count my words here. <laughs> I know, Charlie, it's kind of harder for you to measure things you're doing. Yeah, honestly, it's just a, um, I'm just putting like general thoughts. I don't care about the amount of words, so. Right. I got 253, so that was okay. Nice, that's good for 10 minutes. Um, I'm trying to figure out how many I got. I think I got about 250 or something. I was just finishing up a chapter. Is that the end of? So, um, I had to figure out where we were in the comments. Hello, glad you could join us. Kelly. Uh, yeah, we did some introductions there. Links are all down below in the description if you want to check them out. But if you guys want to briefly introduce yourselves again for anyone who joined the first sprint, go ahead. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm Brooke. Um, I have a channel here on YouTube as well, which is linked in the description. <laughs> Maybe not going to write for this sprint. Really it was the you first. Why are coming back? You haven't missed much. A scene done. Got around 200 words written. Broke into a new chapter. Fun. Really plan for the week. I started one. Take home final. 288 words at a very fun part of the book. It's kind of sad though. I love the sad parts though. Those are always fun for me to write. I don't know why. Uh, I'm working on my romantic suspense standalone thing that I don't know how to describe. <laughs> I'm working on a um, contemporary romance. College stuff. Hello, hello. Uh, we just got started. That was the first sprint. Only too much of words. I spent too long choosing what to put on in the background. That's why it's the warm up sprint. Don't mind. Don't mind a car honking behind the scenes of my. I was wondering what that noise was. Uh, two forty three, and I had two minutes in the time before I was to attack the ice cream. Ah. Uh, I only got 155, but I was re-editing words I already have. I was also kind of editing and stuff, too, so it's definitely slower going when you're doing that. For the people who noticed my cat, yes. He it, it, he is... Yeah. He wants to He looks he, so he wants, <laughs> uh, Yeah, he, he's one of those short hair breeds, but it always manages to go all over the place. Yeah. Only 96 words for me, and I'm hungry. That's very me all. Nice. I only say I didn't warn you about the timer because someone always comments in the chat and every single one of these sprints that it scares them <laughs> without fail. Hello. Yeah, we love that, cats. Right? That, they're the mascots. <laughs> I always get comments like that too, asking to see the cats. Uh, how long do you guys want to go? For the next one i'm thinking a little bit longer for the next one sure yeah whatever um, you think i'd have to go and i actually have to go in a little bit so you guys can do whatever the hell you want <laughs> <laughs> okay sounds good uh outlining one of the zombie books fun 20 30 i'm gonna give it a second to see if any more comments come in <laughs> I hate the delay between YouTube and StreamYard. It just makes Yeah, it's super it's super inconvenient. <laughs> it's like you know there are other comments that are not just showing up yet, so Yeah. Twenty. Okay, let's do a twenty. And then we'll go from there. All right. Uh good luck everybody. Talk to you in twenty minutes. See you guys. It was nice to get to know you both. Thanks for joining us for the first part. Have a good you. Thanks.
how was it? Let's see. I got 601. Nice. I'm going to have to calculate. I got 499. And I had to like read through a couple of chapters. How'd you guys do in the chat? How do you feel about the 20 minute sprint? I could go for longer, honestly. Yeah, like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, scene and a half done. Sounds like you're going pretty fast, Nelly. Nice. 650, 472, 258. I did 80% of my video, so pretty happy. Nice. Sounds like that was a pretty productive one for everybody. 212. I'm writing by hand, so I don't know how much I got. That will definitely slow you down. <laughs> 183. I can't write by hand anymore. I get hand cramps and I just, it's not my jam. <laughs> I literally like printed out my outline and I was like making notes to myself and even just like writing a few sentences. I was like, I, I hate this. <laughs> I know. It's so much slower. I just, I guess I'm just like out of practice because I'm not in school anymore. So like I never write anything. Same. Won't be able to write until I get studying done, but I'm sure I'll be able to get some words down. Nice. Good luck with your studying. 210. <laughs> eating my ice cream. Your book early yesterday, so we'll be reading that during the sprints. Oh, exciting. Enjoy. I hope you like it. I've seen a lot of people getting in early. One out of five essay questions done. Nice. I have four pages in my dystopian adventure story. Handwriting is not it. I'll do it if I'm like stuck and I like need to get away from the computer, but so much easier for me to write by hand. My brain just works better that way. I get the appeal. If it wasn't painful to me, maybe I'd like it more. I don't know. <laughs> I used to write so much by hand, but I can't anymore. My hand hurts so fast. Yeah. I think I just get impatient because it takes me so much longer to write. Just like, yeah, yeah, I can't write as fast as the ideas come to my head. So it's just like, come on. <laughs> up with it, yeah. I also got the book the other day. I'm loving it. I love hearing that. Thanks for reading it. I can do a longer sprint for sure. I got around 400 because I needed coffee. So I'll get here until tomorrow. That's still early. It's not supposed to be there until Tuesday. But... I'm getting impatient now. I just want to like hit publish on the ebook like now and just let it go because I'm like, people already have it. Just joined an app earlier. Let's see if this one's your foster puppy. Oh, cute. What kind of puppy is it? I was brainstormed by hand. I can't write scenes by hand. I can brainstorm by hand. I forgot what I wrote by hand. the marionettes in my breaks and so far I'm obsessed. Thanks everybody. <laughs> this is a very nice chat. I love the idea of writing by hand but then I struggle too much when I do it. I agree. Oh, no passing cursive. I don't even know if I still know how to do cursive. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it probably would just look like some weird hybrid like. <laughs> what my normal handwriting is it's like half cursive half not so like I don't even know what the difference is anymore. <laughs> I don't even think they teach that in schools anymore. I don't think so. They drilled that into us so much. They're like, oh, you have to know how to handwrite. And I'm like, why? That was like all of my third grade. Yeah. Was doing that. It's like the only thing I have to handwrite is my signature. Right. <laughs> Apparently everything's different with school. When I used to nanny, I would help the kids with their homework. And oh, yeah. Do, like math homework. And they have like certain ways of doing it. And they have to show their work that way. I was like, I don't yeah. know how to do that. Like, what is that? I know my niece and nephew are in school and like my sister is like, I can't even help them because it's completely different. Like you have to draw this box and do this. And I was like, what? I know. why? It sounds a lot more complicated than how we learned it too. Right. Also, I feel really old right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, thank you for waiting. Thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoy it when it finally gets to you. <laughs> of 25 or even longer sprint cool oh cute but i'm sure has a lot of energy 
since I wasn't expecting the montage for the seventh, so I'm very excited. Yeah, I put the on sale date like a week early because I didn't want people who pre ordered to get it late. So it ended up getting there a little earlier than I was expecting to, but it's fine. I feel excited when I got the notification that it was on the way. I'm excited too. It's been fun seeing people get it. Someone with a younger brother, they don't teach cursive anymore. And half the time, my brother doesn't know how to write with a pencil because it's all online. Oh, yeah. Interesting. My sisters would get mad when they needed homework and math was written with the boxes. <laughs> I don't understand. And then, like, I don't know if you ever had to do whatever it was called. It was, like, lattice or something with math. It was, like, a some kind of chart. They made us learn when I was in elementary school. Oh. math, And now they don't do that. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember. Like, I, I don't know. I could have, could have been, but. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> in 20 years. I never learned cursive, but I went to school during that time. And they assigned for packaging. And <laughs> <in> my signature. <laughs> uh, I can guarantee I'm older than both of you, so don't worry. I just hit like a milestone birthday though. So that just like made me feel real old. And then Facebook gives me these like five years ago, six years ago, you were in college. I'm like, yeah. Don't show me how, that. How old are you? I'm 25. Okay. I just turned 24. So <laughs> it's not that old, but it's also like in my head, I'm still 21. So <laughs> well, it's funny. Cause I can remember being a teenager and being like, Oh my God, 20 is so old. <laughs> And now I'm like, no, it's not old. <laughs> I was in French immersion school and my mom did not speak French. So you can imagine how hard it was for her to help me. Yeah. I took so many years of French and I still couldn't say pretty much anything, honestly. Yeah, same. <laughs> I was supposed to have in third grade and then they never did it again. Yeah. I don't know how we got on this topic, but this is kind of... <laughs> <laughs> how did we get here? I don't know, like, you'd think math would stay the same. Like, it's not like they're coming up with new ways to add numbers no. together. Like, why is it different? Either block them or never learned cursive. I'm from Europe, so maybe it's just different, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. Cursive is actually still taught, okay. Again, I don't know how we got on this topic, but it's interesting. Okay, uh, you guys wanna go for a little bit of a longer sprint this time? I'm cool with like 25. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's just go straight in. 25 minutes.
was that one? Um, I was doing some research, so I did not really write much. I finished my last chapter. I can't remember where I left off and where I started the sprint. I don't know. I just finished a chapter. Um, where were we in the comments? We were talking about cursive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you a silent writer or do you need some kind of noise? I need noise for the music or rain sounds. What about you? Yeah, I usually listen to music. Like, it, it kind of depends on what mood I'm in, but usually I listen to music. Yeah, I'm either or. I've been writing in silence today. I didn't even realize I was doing it to like this comment. Sometimes I listen to music, sometimes I don't. I could do either way. I'm curious if people draft faster, if they outline. Do you outline one project and then write it, or do you have a backlog? I have, like, a million different projects in, like, various stages, so I don't really have, like, one process. Um, I think I write my books pretty much the same speed, whether I outline or not. I don't really think it makes a difference for me. What about you? Yeah, I feel like if I have, like, a bit of an outline, it's faster. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> I, it just kind of depends on the book, I think. But mm -hmm. yeah, I have just like a huge backlog of like stuff that I want to write and whether I'll get to it all. I mean, who knows? <laughs> Sometimes by the time you get back to a project, you're like, oh, this isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Or, oh, no. or, yeah. I managed to get over 400 words. The wolf scene, I'll be the sprint until I start to my words from the spell. Lips with an E in it. See, there's always someone who's scared by the timer. <laughs> I wrote two pages and a half. Nice. Ate lunch during that one. 6.36. My cat distracted me. Seems to be a theme for this live show today. <laughs> 300 on the dot. My sister called in the middle of this branch. I don't remember how much I got. But this is still productive for me. Good. Just editing my video and I'm doing the thumbnail. That's the worst part about videos for me. I hate making it. <laughs> no, I hate it. I always put it off until the last second. I'll be like uploading my video to YouTube to schedule it. And I'm like, oh, better make a thumbnail. Yeah. And I think it's clear mine are so like low effort. It's just like <laughs> low some text. I've been doing this for six years. Never bothered to like get good at thumbnails because I hate making them. 134 words and edited my outline. My book is significantly shorter now, but I have so many unnecessary choppers if it's needed. Are you an overwriter? I'm definitely an underwriter. Yeah, I'm an underwriter for sure. I wish I was an overwriter. <laughs> I feel like it's probably just as hard to take things out, honestly, because you just get so attached. It probably is, yeah. <laughs> I just hate like ending with a rough draft that's like, 40,000 or 50,000 and the book ends up being like a hundred thousand. So I feel like yeah. I write the whole thing like twice because of how much I add to it. A hundred words got interrupted by my parents. 206, speaking of being old, my birthday is usually 13, it's actually 13 days away. You fireplace going right now, right? You should listen to music, videos and stories, themes. I love having those like ambiance videos on in the book. Yeah. Um, that's what I usually listen to when I'm working. Happy birthday, 13 days early. 350 pages. Pause to Google. I'm guessing you meant words. <laughs> <laughs> Pause to Google a few things for accuracy since it takes place in a city I don't live in. That always slows me down when I need to like research things. Yeah. With this one, I'm still doing like brackets, like this name here, something here. So I'm not stopping for anything right now. Yeah, it's like it. It's better that way because it doesn't interrupt the flow. Like. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I'm just hanging out, watching BookTube. Glad you're hanging out with us. How do you guys get out from the outline stage? Does it get easier the more you write? Um, I don't like fully outline my books. So I like brainstorm before I start writing and then maybe outline like a few chapters. I do think like the process overall gets easier the more you write because you start to find like what works for you and what you need for each project. A graphic designer, by the way, so it's okay for me. Hello. I'm an underwriter, but I overwrite my outlines. And I never write descriptions. A bunch of words get added later. <laughs> I always skip over descriptions, too. 
these prints are great because they force me to take a break instead of continuing to work less productively. That's how I feel about it too. <laughs> and it keeps me accountable because I'm if there's like a camera on me, I'm not gonna sit here and like scroll through TikTok the whole time. Yeah, that's true. Thing. Okay, so we like this length of spring. Good. I think like 20 minutes, like around there, give or take, is a good spot. Outlining seems to help me with underwriting now that I'm doing it. It also helps to read so that I'm focusing on words and how authors use them. I do that too if I feel like I'm starting to struggle. I'll just like take a break and read some books. I think I underwrite because I'm so impatient. Like I want to get the whole story down. I want to get yeah. to the end. So I'm just like writing it as quickly as I can. And then I go back and I'm like, okay, you got to like actually slow down now. <laughs> I usually have a playlist for the current project and something curated for future projects. I get distracted too easily for silence. It just depends on my mood because sometimes if I really like the music, I'll get distracted by the lyrics and I'm just like sitting here singing instead of writing. I also have a Christmas coffee shop on me. Too. <laughs> yeah. I loved the, all of the fall ones that were coming out. They had all of these like, yeah. ones. those were so great. All right. Uh, do you guys have a preference for the next sprint? What are you feeling? I don't even have a preference. Um, yeah, I'm good with whatever. We had 25 that time. I kind of liked the last one. Did yeah. That's good. I overwrite so hard, but it's such a pain to cut out stuff because I feel like I just wasted my time. That's how I would feel about it if, I guess, I don't know. If I like how to cut entire scenes, I very rarely have to cut out like entire scenes. But like a few times I have to do that, it hurts. <laughs> I also never write descriptions. So sometimes when I go back to neglected projects, I completely forget how things were supposed to look like. Yeah. Okay, we're all in agreement. Cool. Uh, 25 minutes. Talk to you guys then.
going for everybody. I am not being very productive. I think I wrote like 10 words. So yeah, I didn't get much that time either. I read through some stuff. I did some research. I made a dinner reservation. <laughs> so I like hit the end of what I had planned to write today. So I've kind of hit a snag. I'm like reading through the chapter, trying to figure out what else I'm doing. Cause I'm like adding in a different point of view to a book that I already have the whole thing from one point of view. Oh, okay. So it's just a mess. Now all my chapters are misnumbered too, so it's just like <laughs> a confusing mess. Why does it scare me every time? I'm sorry. Some people mute it or turn down the volume when we get started. 720. At least it was productive for some people. Almost finished my goal for the sprint, so that's good. Great. The book is not anything. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that was gonna be the last sprint because I have hit a snag and I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm going to do next before I can write anything else. I've been searching for names, but can't find any that seem to fit my characters. Naming is hard. 500 words, 413, 166. I finished chapter four. Attentions are very high. That's exciting. 222, writing the midpoint. It's fun, but also a sad point of the story. Not great Pinterest board for the novel coming. <laughs> uh, we love, let's like a productive distraction though. It's related, you know? So yeah, that was going to be the last one. I got to figure some stuff out. Thanks for coming and writing with us though. I hope you guys got some good stuff done. Um, I have another one scheduled. Let me see when the next sprint is. I don't even know. Thanks for joining us, Brooke. Yeah, well, thanks for inviting me. It was fun. I probably wouldn't have really gotten anything done today if I didn't come. So, same. That's what's been great about doing these. I'm not usually this like disciplined on my own. <laughs> yeah, me neither. This keeps me accountable. I will be sprinting on my second channel on the sixth, which I think is Monday. Um, during the afternoon, maybe. Yeah, one o'clock. If you guys are free during the afternoons, I'll be there on Monday. Uh, yeah, have a great rest of your weekend, everybody. Um, yeah, see you next time. Go subscribe to Brooke if you're not already. Or follow her on Instagram. All right, bye, everybody.